Lucky Strike. First again with Tobacco Men. First again with Tobacco Men. LSMFT. LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Yes, in a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So round. So firm. So fully packed. So free and easy on the draw. So for your own real deep down smoking enjoyment, smoke that smoke of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. Lucky Strike Cigarettes presents the wholesome family comedy, The Lambs of God, starring Betty Winslow and Howard Q. Taylor Snitch in the series finale titled, Lamb to the Slaughter. Was I supposed to do something today? Have I been sitting here and smoking Lucky Strike cigarettes for the past seven hours? Looks like another day that I was characteristically disobedient to my husband. Ah, oh, my favorite room in the house. The kitchen. The place where a woman can truly be herself. I am going to fix Patrick's favorite meal, an entire leg of lamb. And for me, I'll treat myself to a bagel. Well, I guess I'm eating for two now, so a bagel and another cigarette. Honey, work was hell! Patrick, I, I didn't clean the house today because, well, um, uh, um, uh, uh, Our goldfish died. Mary, we never owned a goldfish. Where on earth did that dead goldfish come from? Patrick, do you want your regular glass of brandy? Have I ever turned down a glass of brandy? <laughs> Mary, I would never divorce a glass of brandy. What? There you go, Patrick. Thanks. I'll take another. Okay. Another. 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 That's all the brandy we have in this container. Well, then go down to the cellar. Here you go. I'll just take the whole thing. Another. Are you okay, Patrick? You're acting a little strange today. I have some news for you. Oh, Patrick, you're an alcoholic? No, Mary, why on earth would you think that? <laughs> no, Mary. This thing we have just isn't really working out, you know? You mean, our, our marriage? So you get it, Mary. Okay, when was the last time you were happy? I guess it was... You see, Mary, I could care less because, get this, I no longer love you or care what happens to you. Is that why all your belongings are packed into seven suitcases in the corner over there? Yes. Also, I am leaving tonight to live with Rebecca. R Rebecca 
Your secretary? Oh, God, no. I'm a man of ethics, Mary. I'm talking about Rebecca, your sister. My sister lives on the remote island of Callowait. Why did you think I visited Callowait so much? Business, I guess. Mary, there are only two people who live on the remote island of Callowait. The Emperor of Callowait and Rebecca, your sister. I don't know what to say, Patrick. Good, because I wasn't finished. I will now give you every vulgar detail of the intense love affair between myself and Rebecca, your sister. Uh, you, you don't need to do that, Patrick. It was June 18th, 1947. Is that a novel, Patrick? Yes, Mary, it is a novel that I wrote about the failure that is our marriage. It hits shelves nationwide next week. It was June 18th, 1947. I had cheated on Mary Lamb of Fairview, Wisconsin, 17 times prior to this encounter, but never had it amounted to anything but meaningless, passionate lovemaking until I met the beautiful, fair-skinned, blue-eyed Rebecca, who by wicked chance happened to be Mary's sister. Chapter One. If you want to hear the rest, Mary, you are going to have to buy a copy like everyone else. I will go ahead and start making dinner. You can't leave my life in shambles on an empty stomach. <laughs> I would rather have my thigh bone cracked in half and eat another one of your meals. Uh... I am going out tonight. Do not make me dinner. Will you marry me? It would make me the happiest lad in all of these 48 states. You've never looked more beautiful. Remember that time you looked so beautiful? I wish you looked half as beautiful as you did that one time. Wow, Mary, you really let yourself go. You call yourself a homemaker? Mary, you couldn't home make a ham sandwich. You want a job as a court stenographer? Mary, you couldn't court stenograph a ham sandwich. You call yourself a stay-at-home wife? Mary, you couldn't stay-at-home wife a ham sandwich! <laughs> you call this a ham sandwich? Mary, this ham sandwich couldn't ham sandwich a ham sandwich! We're naming it Patrick Jr. I don't care if it's a girl, Mary. We're naming it Patrick Jr. Mary, there are only two people on the remote island of Callowait, the Emperor of Callowait and Rebecca, your sister. Dinner's ready, Patrick. Come and get it! Ah! Ah! Patrick! Ah! I'm eating you ah! with ah! Patrick! Ah! You're a cheater, Patrick! I hate you! Join hands, circle left. Now circle right and listen to me. LS, LS, MFT. Alamanja corners like swinging on a gauge. A right to your honey with a right to left eight. Grand right and left around you go. Lucky strike means find a back hole. Meet your honey and give her a whirl. All swing around with the little girls. Smoke them, smoke them, then you'll see. LS, LS, MFT. Promenade and don't you fall, promenade around the hall, lucky strike is first again, first again with tobacco men, promenade straight down the pike, it's time right now for a lucky strike. Yes, for smoking that you're bound to like, you just can't beat a lucky strike. And now back to the lambs of God. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Another one day. All right. Okay. You can do this. It's fine. Everything is fine. You're good. You're all good, Mary. Oh, thank God. A friendly face to get things back to normal. Hey there, Mary. How are you? I'm good, Sam. How are you? Oh, same old, same old. 
One of these days I'm gonna throttle my boss and get the heck out of here. Also, I'm a communist sympathizer. What? That's right, I've just read the Communist Manifesto by my new hero Karl Marx and realized that I am a COMMIE! Sam, why? You were so patriotic, Sam. Why is this happening? Yep, just a regular, low-down, no-good, dirty COMMIE! Yep, a rotten, red, anti-American COMMIE! COMMIE! So, is that all you want? Some Lucky Strike cigarettes, a singular potato, and some COFFEE? No, Sam. That's not all I want. I am going to need you to tell the police that I was here. Okay, Sam? You got that, Sam? You are my alibi, Sam. You are going to break the law. You, Sam, everyone's favorite grocer, who is now a communist, is going to help me get away with murder. You are a co-conspirator and a communist. You're my communist co-conspirator, Sam. Okie dokie. It's gonna be okay. Hey, Patrick, did you do it? Did you get rid of the old ball and chain? Patrick's dead, Jonathan. He is dead. And I killed him. I brutally murdered him with a frozen lamb leg. And I am happy about it. I mean, um, can I start over? Oh, sure thing, Mary. Jonathan, he's dead. He's on the floor. Okay, Mary, I'll be there as quick as I can. Sorry, Mary. As I always say, there are countless other things I would rather do than my job. As you know, I woke up this morning and I said, America is the greatest country in the world. That's his catchphrase. So, Mary, where's Patrick's lifeless body? You're standing on him. Oh, I was wondering why you got this morbid rug. But then again, that was always Patrick's sense of humor. It really shines in his novel. Have you read his novel yet, Mary? No, Jonathan, I haven't read his novel. It's really genius. Well, Patrick is most certainly dead. I guess that's what happens in this world. There's no rhyme or reason for anything that happens. That's why I woke up this morning and said... Oh, oh, he's gonna say it again. There is no God. Anyways... It looks like he was hit in the head with a blunt object. Speaking of getting hit in the head with a blunt object, I have a lamb leg in the oven. Do you want some? Sure. What better way to honor the legacy of Patrick than to eat his favorite meal in the house that he was murdered in? Mmm. Nom nom nom. This is really good, Mary. You made an excellent lamb leg. I don't know why Patrick would cheat on you for the past 12 years. Boy, I can't seem to crack this case. Who could have killed Patrick on the very night that he revealed to his wife the ongoing love affair that he was having with Rebecca, your sister? And that murder weapon, it could be anything. A club? A wooden club? A, uh, a, a, a steel club? A, uh, a, a golf club, and, uh, an ace of clubs, a, uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart 
fan c- club a, uh, a a frozen lamb leg uh, a club communism a communist club did I say a frozen lamb leg because that would make an excellent murder weapon well the point is it could be under my very nose <laughs> Oh. oh my god. I like women. Needless to say, this was the most shocking episode of television to ever air. Some believe this to be the most shocking thing ever witnessed by anyone in the history of mankind. Scholars often point to this series finale as the sole reason that television is no longer a medium in modern society. After being convicted for attempting to corrupt American morality, every actor that appeared in the show was publicly executed on the final national broadcast of any recorded transmission. This announcement is the only work of film in our nation's libraries and is meant to serve as a reminder to the American people of the horrors of creative freedom. Joseph McCarthy was correct, and we forever thank him. Remember, America, give in to fear. Fear is primal. Be a sheep.